Pro-Russian separatists have held their own elections in eastern Ukraine one week after the rest of the country opted for a western-leaning parliament. In Donetsk, voters in the self-proclaimed People's Republic backed a separatist leadership. According to exit polls, former mining electrician Alexander Zakarchenko won over 81 percent support. We have become the witnesses of how citizens of the Donetsk People's Republic exercise their free choice for prosperity and independence. Kiev has already denounced the elections in Donetsk and Luhansk as farcical, citing the Minsk agreements signed by rebel leaders that only allow for the election of local officials under Ukrainian law. The United States has called the elections illegitimate and the European Union, the Poles, an obstacle to peace, but Russia says it will recognize the results. This Russian lawmaker said the most important thing is the ceasefire. After that we can discuss if there should be a federation or a confederation. Should it be a Ukrainian confederation or should it be something else? As night fell, some voters turned out to celebrate the result in central Donetsk. Many accused the Kiev government of having turned its back on them. They must establish an economic relationship. Kiev must pay the pension arrears and payments for the children. They must stop following their political goals. We must feel we are free people. Rebels claim the elections legitimized the separatist leadership. However, Kiev says the polls change nothing.